Homecoming Week 2022 continues tonight. It's the annual Powder Puff Game, pitting the juniors of the class of 2024 against the seniors of the class of 2023. Pre-game is underwritten by Malasha's Palace Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram. Malasha's Palace has been servicing Lake Orion's automotive needs since the 1950s. Give them a call at 248-393-2222. Good evening, everyone. I'm Doug Corliss. It is homecoming. It is the Powder Puff game. It has provided so many big memories, some fireworks, if you wish, some close games, some routes over the years, but it is always an eagerly contested contest. This year, the senior class boasting a roster 144 strong under head coach Jared Wood. They're looking to avenge last year's loss and come away victorious in their senior year. We have the junior class, 96 players strong, under head coach Joel Malkasian, and they're looking for the upset, and it's come close over the years. We've had instances where it has been a missed field goal. It has been where it has been a failed two-point conversion, but it has always been an entertaining evening as part of the homecoming festivities. Homecoming week comes back and continues tomorrow night as the Varsity Dragons welcome in the Clarkston Wolves for an OAA interdivision rivalry game. So we've got it all for you coming up. Stay with us. Pre-game was underwritten by Malasha's Palace, Chrysler Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. Malasha's Palace has been serving Lake Orion's automotive needs since the 1950s. Give them a call at 248-393-2222. Just before kickoff for the annual Powder Puff game, the senior girls against the junior girls. As we alluded to earlier, this is a lead up between the four and two Clarkston Wolves coming in to take on the three and three Lake Orion Dragons. Always always a tough rivalry game. We see no reason it should be anything less tomorrow. We've had a week full of homecoming festivities. The parade was through downtown Lake Orion early in the week. Always a special time of year here in Lake Orion. A nip of fall in the air and as I look out to the east and to the north from our press box. The fall colors just beginning to come in here in Lake Orion. One of the best views in the OAA in Oakland County and personally in the state of Michigan. The teams are getting ready as the final seconds count down. I believe our referee tonight is Burt Hershey. He has done a lot of these games in the past. He was a former OAA referee and has since retired and now filling in whenever he can. And you see that a lot with older officials. They come in and still stay close to the game. If everyone will please rise, gentlemen, remove your caps as we... We're going to pause line. for a moment as the teams line up and we listen to the playing 
of our national anthem. with the running clock. The clock will run on plays out of bounds, on incomplete pass, incomplete passes. The only time the clock will stop is for what is referred to as tips, timeouts, injuries, penalties, and scores. Each team gets three timeouts per half, and we will have a five-minute halftime. The juniors will receive they will defend the goal to the north and be moving left to right across your television screen. The first quarter sponsor is underwritten by Jets Pizza. Jets Pizza with two convenient locations in the Orion area. Proud supporters of Orion Neighborhood Television since 2009. For more information, visit JetsPizza.com. And down in the truck tonight, we have the boss, Ian Locke, making everything look good. Our sideline cameraman, as always, the erstwhile Joe Johnson. And we are proud to be coming to you on Orion Neighborhood Television and being streamed wherever you are on the NFHS streaming service. Glad you're with us on a beautiful fall night here in Lake Orion. Kicking off for the seniors, Victoria Halpern. Victoria Halpern will kick off for the seniors. Can't see who's back deep because she doesn't have her back turned to me. The seniors are in black with white numbers and the juniors in white with black numbers trimmed in pink. Whistle blows. High short kick. Picked up and bobbled a couple times and dropped on the 35 yard line is number 43, Abigail Knepp. So the juniors take over first and 10 at the 35. They split two wide receivers to the left, single double wide to the right. From a pistol formation. Motion far side, handoff up the middle. Got a seam over the 40 and flagged down. They're going to call her down at the 40, 37 for a gain of two. Number 16, Ava Hawkins on the stop for the seniors. Bring up second down and eight.
Juniors come out with five wides, three right, two split to the left. Single back is the quarterback. And she calls for motion this side. She takes it up the middle, got a seam, and thrown down, flagged down at the 40. Skylar Oswald on the run, number two. Out to the 40, it's going to be third down and five. Motion far side. First down, Oswald on the run. They're gonna call her down at the junior's 48 yard line. That's enough for a first down. Couple three different seniors in on the stop. So it'll be first down. Number 17, McKella Kasage on the stop. And please forgive me if I massacre some of these names. First thing time from the juniors, 47. From the 48 yard line, trips to the right, twins left. Now motion this side. Up the middle and tripped up as she crosses midfield with Skylar Osborne. Brought down on the senior 49. It'll be second down and seven. Sarah Human on the stop for the seniors. So second and seven as we go inside 11 minutes to go here in the first quarter. Twins both sides. Handoff outside and flag down at the, see where they mark it. It'll be at the 46 yard line Gain of two, caught the 47. So it'll be third down and five for the juniors. They stay in a double wide, double slot look. On third down. Handoff in the backfield, and that was sniffed out and stopped by, if she'll ever turn around, number 68, Sarah Hillman on the stop. It's going to be fourth and nine, be a loss of three. And the juniors will be forced to punt. Number 37, Fontana Blackney, dropping deep. Along with number 103, Ellis Fires. So fourth down, to toss seniors, back, high kick, taken, dropped, that's a live ball, and she takes it and runs out of bounds at the 25 yard line. So that's where the seniors will take over, first and 10 
with 8.30 to go here in the opening quarter. So from the 25, seniors break the huddle, split a wide receiver each side and set up a wing left and two backs in the backfield. And around. And she's going to go. Touchdown senior, 75 yards for number 79, Audrey Llewellyn. She got around the corner and turned the Jets on, and nobody put a hand on her. 75 yards. One play, that is offensive efficiency. No flags on the play. So now they'll line up for the conversion. It remains to see if they'll kick or go for two. So they're trying to get set up for the point after. Okay, so number 72 to Victoria Hoffer on for the extra point. Kick is up and the kick is good. 5.45 to go in the first. The seniors go out to a seven to nothing lead. Thanks to Orion Neighborhood Television and Dragon Broadcasting, you can watch Lake Orion High School sports live online all year. We've got a full schedule of varsity Senior football, volleyball, and more like the Powder Puff game this fall. Plus, we've got concerts and ceremonies. It costs less than $11 per year or per month to watch sporting events and half of that money goes back to the Lake Orion High School program. Be sure to designate Lake Orion High School when you set up your account. Get started at www.dragonbroadcasting.org. Orion Neighborhood Television thanks our student crews for their hard work and dedication to bring Dragon Sports to the world. Kickoff. Picked up about the 32 and flagged down right there. Number 55, Melicio, or Ariana Melicio on the return, flagged down at the 34-yard line, first down for the juniors. I'm sorry, on that stop was Kyra Andrews for the seniors. So first and 10 from the 34. 345 to go here in the first. Trips to the left, twins to the right. Handoff, bobbled. 
and taken up and flagged down at the 39, it'll be second down and six. Olivia DeVries on the tackle or on the stop for the seniors. Juniors come out with a double wide, double slots. Single back, quarterback in a pistol. She brings it around right end and is flagged down at the 36 yard line. Brought down by Olivia DeVries, Skylar Oswald on the carry. So it's third down and seven for the juniors as we close inside 2.30 to play here in the first. So third and seven. Drops back, looks, throws a bullet. Incomplete. Good pass intended for. Number 11, Maddie Eckert. And that'll bring up fourth down and seven from the 37. Coach Wood trying to get his return team out on the field. Number 37, Fontana Blackley, or 137, I'm sorry. Katie Shifford back deep for the seniors. High kick. Taken, drop, picked up, trying to come around the right side. Still going and flagged down in juniors territory at the 48 yard line where the seniors will take over first and 10 with inside a minute to go here in the first. So the seniors have shown great offensive efficiency one play, 75 yards, and a touchdown. They'll get their second possession. I don't know if they're going to wait for the quarter to expire. Nope, they break the huddle. They came out with two wides and two players in wings, now motion. Coming around the left side and stopped at the 48 yard line for no gain. Run by number 116, Chloe Weger. Chloe Weger on the run, number 116. Down by number 46, Allie Jones. Allie Jones on the stop. And that's the end of the first quarter. We've played one. The seniors lead the juniors seven to nothing. Our scoreboard sponsor for the first half is Michigan United Credit Union. Michigan United Credit Union, the full service financial institution services, serves everyone who resides, works, worships, or attends school in Michigan. Give them a call at 248-814-4000 or visit their website for more information. So it's second down and seven for the seniors from the junior 48 as we start the second quarter. Handoff around the right side, left side, and flagged down is number 33, who is not on my roster. So it's 
So it'll be a third down and six. Ava Howie Griffin on the stop for the juniors. Ball's marked on the 47 on the left hash. Double reverse. And flag down after a first down at the 37 yard line. Ball was carried. Number 113, Anna Wandry. Emily Fisher on the stop for the juniors. First down for the seniors on the junior 47 yard line. Skies are starting to cloud over a bit. Rain is expected tonight. Twins to the left, single wide right. Handoff and flag down on the carry was Quinn McElroy. Emily Fisher on the stop for the juniors. The press box says it was number 63, Reagan Haas on the carry. So we'll say that too. Second down and now 12, 13. Ball spotted on the 40. Two wides with a wing left. Handoff up the middle, flag down at the 40. Brought down by number 51, Taylor Kimba. Stopped immediately by a Thunder of Juniors. Madeline Furig on the stop. It'll be third down and now 12 as we close in on 11.30 to go in the second quarter. Seniors break the huddle, split two wide. On a wing left, two backs in the backfield. And stopped in the backfield. Number 116 on the carry was Chloe Wiegers brought down by number 66, Lexi Strohshine. So it's fourth down and a bunch. Fourth down and 22 from midfield. Juniors coming up with a big stop. Punt formation for the seniors. High punt. Taken, bobbled, and bounced back inside the 10 and flagged down at the 11.
the returner, Bob, was number 42, Alexis Hazen. So they're going to mark it first and 10 from the 13 with 9.30 to go here in the second quarter. Seniors up by seven. So the juniors We'll see what we have here. Timeout called. It doesn't say by whom. When we come back, it'll be first and 10 from the 13 with 8.50 to go. So the juniors come out with trips left, twins right. Empty backfield. Flag down for no gain. Skyler Oswald on the carry. It'll be second and 10. Carla Seifert on the stop for the seniors. They'll bring up a second and 10. Wind is blowing pretty good out of the north. It'll affect anything thrown that direction. Twins left, now motion this side. Handoff on the end around and flagged down after maybe a yard gain. They're giving her two. It'll be third down and, as a matter of fact, they're giving her more than that. It'll be third and five for the juniors from the 18 yard line with 7.30 to go here in the second quarter. Receivers are already in a double wide, double slot look. Toss back and number 13. Alexander Fouts on the carry. A little collision. And a foul on number 108. Violet Thomas. There is not supposed to be any contact in this. It is inevitable that there will be some, but that's a first down for the juniors. Double wide, double slot look, single back. Motion, that side, handoff to the right side. And flag down at the 30 for no gain by number Number 76. By number 78, Bryn Ledecky. 78, Bryn Ledecky. So it's second down. 
Ball's marked on the 30 as we close in on 530 to go in the second quarter. Double wide, double slot on second down. Ball's on the ground. And it's dead where it is. Marked down at the 27 yard line. So that's going to be third down and 12. They're so we'll call it third and 12. They're calling it maybe third and 11 from the 28. Same formation, double wide, double slot with a single back. Motion this side. Looks, throws, got a receiver incomplete. Skyler threw a pretty good ball then, intended for number 14, Megan Fox, and she just couldn't get back to get it. So fourth and 11. Junior send in a punt team and the seniors counter with a punt return team. Number 37, Fontana Blackney sets up about midfield. Pitch back. Short kick. Go out of bounds near. They're going to mark it out at the 44, 45 yard line of the of the of the of the juniors. So the seniors start out first and 10 from the 45. The juniors have two timeouts remaining. Seniors have three. They lead seven to nothing with 2.45 to go in the second. Two wide outs, full house backfield. Three backs in the backfield. Right up the middle, close to a first down, was number 116, Chloe Weigers. They're going to call her a yard short. It'll be second and one. Nothing fancy about that. She just took it, got a little block from the line and got through for nine. So second and one, we're inside two minutes now. The seniors will receive the second half kickoff. They won the toss and deferred. Seniors break the huddle. Two wide outs and a full house backfield. Ball's on the ground. And we're going to have a timeout taken by Seniors fumbled, so it's a dead ball. It gets marked back to the 41 yard line and it'll be third down and about six. Out 
Hey, you can follow Orion Neighborhood Television mobily, mobily, anytime. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube on your mobile devices. Connect with ONTV to see what's happening in our studio, see upcoming events, and watch ONTV programs like this in high definition on demand. Orion Neighborhood Television, working to bring Lake Orion to the world. So third down and six from the 40. Hand off inside and flag down at the 40. But number 56, Michaela O'Haver. So that'll be fourth down for the seniors. Number 113, Anna Wadji on the carry. Number 113, Anna Wandry on the carry for the seniors. So 106 to go. We have a fourth and seven from So the seniors send their, this is kind of a no man's land where you might as well go for it. And that's exactly what the seniors are going to do. Fourth and seven, late in the quarter, 106 left, handoff. And flagged down near the first down. Will that be enough for a first down? Number 59, Yay. Hannah Ramsey made the stop. Handed off to number 33, who I didn't have on my roster. So first and 10 for the seniors. We got a timeout with 51.7 seconds taken by the seniors. I'm sorry, they have, seniors have two timeouts. The juniors have one and we're inside a minute here in the second quarter. Our replay sponsors are Jets Pizza. Jets Pizza with two convenient locations in the Orion area. Proud supporters of Orion Neighborhood Television since 2009. If you haven't had dinner tonight, give them a call or visit JetsPizza.com. So it'll be first and 10 for the seniors. Ball's marked on the 35 yard line. They come out with trips to the right and one back in the backfield. Back to pass, looking, going deep. Got it. Touchdown seniors. Number 54, Maddie Ebert. Caught it in stride and went in untouched. The officials are trying to get the seniors back along the sideline. 17 seconds to go and still running. That may watch the throw. Nice Paul. She caught it in triple coverage and went in untouched. Great pass by Chloe Wiegers. Your score is 
The clock has run out, but we will have an untimed down for the try for point. Snap back, ball is up, and the kick is good. We played a half. The seniors lead the juniors 14 to nothing. You're watching exclusive coverage of the Powder Puff game on Orion Neighborhood Television and on the NFHS streaming service. Two scores to show during this game. The first one came on the on the first play from scrimmage for the seniors, a, a matter of fact, we're going to look at it right here. It went around the right end, and once she broke through the second wave, she wasn't going to be touched. 75 yards on one play by number 79, Audrey Llewellyn. And no more scoring until just at the end of the quarter when the seniors had a touchdown pass to get us where we are now. The score seniors 14 and the juniors nothing. We will have a five minute Halftime, and the halftime is sponsored by Malasha's Palace, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram, located at 3800 South Lapeer Road in Lake Orion. Malasha's Palace has been serving Lake Orion's automotive needs since the 1950s. Give them a call at 248-393-2222 or stop by at 3800 South Lapeer Road in Lake Orion. So the junior's task is to try to stop everything that they've had. They've had a long pass down the middle, which was actually thrown into triple coverage and caught and taken in. But the other one has been on the outside runs. And they've got to close the outside down to those senior rushers. The seniors, very simple, defense. Referee Burt Hershey blows the whistle. They have a high, deep kick. Bouncing around, picked up near the 20. Trying to come back around this side. Got a little seam, has not been flagged down yet. And takes it all away for the touchdown. <laughs> Alice Pierce on the kickoff return for a touchdown. It is at least 80 yards. It was a high, deep kick. And as happens sometimes, when the ball is bobbled, it throws off everything on a return. And Ella got the ball, came to this side, was managed to, to, manage to turn up field, and took it to the house. So the seniors have scored just about every way possible on a return through the air and on the ground. Vivian Burke will hold and Victoria Hoffer will attempt the extra point. Ball spotted. And the kick is no good. The kick is no good. So 13 minutes to go here in the third. It's now 20 
to nothing seniors. Let's get the replay on this. Great work by Ian Locke and our camera crew. Right there, she gets a block and she just outruns everybody. Missed two of them there, but they never grabbed the flag. Now watch, watch the defender come in right there and make a, what an effort. She turned on the burners and almost got her, but just couldn't get the flag for the touchdown. So it's 20 to nothing. The seniors will kick off. Number 60, Aaron Regalia is back deep for the juniors. Referee Bert Hershey blows the whistle. High kick, bouncing around again. Picked up and taken up the far sideline and flagged down at the 27 yard, 28 yard line where the juniors will take over first and 10 as we close in on 11 minutes to go here in the third. Seniors up 20 to nothing. And the rain continues to come down. They've got it marked at the 29, first and 10. Juniors come out in a double wide, double slot formation. One back. Skyler Oswald in a pistol. Hands to the deep back. Cuts it upfield, breaks it outside. She's got openings. And taken down over midfield. Number 14, Megan Fox on the run. A little delay and she had a little seam right there. and just dodged a couple. So it's first and 10, they're marking it right at midfield with 9.40 to go in the third. Junior set up with trips to the right, single wide left. Toss back. Number 13 flagged down, but after a first down was Alexandra, Alexandra Fouts on the carry. They've got it marked on the 46 yard line. Missed. I don't know if I have a misspelling on my roster because Ian Locke just told me it's Alexandra Foes, who is a Bose. Okay, a misspelling on my roster. Thank you, Ian. That's why you're the boss. Skyler on the run, gets a couple off the right side. It'll be third down. Number 68, Sarah Heilman was one of the seniors in on the stop. It'll be third down and five 
from the seniors, 45. They set up trips to the left and a single wide right. Toss back. And the ball's dead right there. McKinley Stevens on the stop. Alexandra Fouts. Yeah, that's what I said, Ian. But that's okay. <laughs> It'll be fourth and 11 from the 49 for the juniors. Ian Locke does it all, pays the bills, works here, manages a pretty great crew. And we have a timeout taken by the juniors with 6.52 to go here in the third. This quarter is brought to you by Smetanka Craft Shows, run by Joan Smetanka, Smetanka Craft Shows has several craft shows during the year all throughout Michigan. For more information, visit the website smetankacraftshows.com. They also have a presence on Facebook. Yeah, the rain started and the crowd has dissipated a little bit. And again, our scoreboard sponsor for today's game is Michigan United Credit Union. The full service financial institution service serves everyone who resides, works, worships, or attends school in Michigan. Give them a call at 248 814 or stop by their location at 350 North Park Boulevard in Lake Orion. So we are going to have a fourth down and 11 for the juniors with 652 to go in the third. They show double wide, double slot. Skyler looks, throws, almost intercepted, but dropped. And that was a very heads up drop because instead of intercepting the ball and being near the seniors 45, they get the ball first and 10 at the juniors 49. Very heads up play. And Skyler had pressure all along. So now it's first and 10 for the seniors from the juniors 49. As we close in on six minutes left in the third. Single wide out left. And we, are, have, a, we have a stoppage of play. We are going to have an offsides it looks like. Nope, they're waving the flag off. So the play never happened. They're, although they, oh, they did mark off a procedure call against the seniors. So that backs it up five. I thought I saw him wave the flag off. So it's first and 15. Handoff. Still not flagged down yet and flagged down at the 40 yard line or thereabouts and a little extracurricular after the play. Number 24, Sienna Ritzel on the carry and flagged down by number 61, Sophia Sally.
So it is first and 10, and as that replay showed, Miss Sally showed that she had the flag rather emphatically. So first and 10 from the 40. As we close in on the four minute mark. Two receivers in tight in a full house backfield. High snap. Taken in by Alexander Phileas and she went in untouched. Touchdown seniors. It was a high snap, which threw the, any timing with the backs off. Here it is again. Good job to corral that in. That is number 42, Avery Case on the touchdown. She had good presence of mind to catch the ball and secure it first, then take off. And by that time, the line had a chance to open up a seam for her, and she made the most of it. So now we'll have a try for point. Victoria Hopper will try. as we get a couple more seniors in for the point try. Ball is up and the kick is good. Two minutes to go here in the third. It's now the seniors 27, the juniors nothing. And just those things like the time it takes to tip and corral the ball on a high snap can change everything insofar as the blocking assignments. It gives the, the offensive line a little more time to secure the blocks. And that time Avery made the most of it. So the seniors will kick off. Returning from the juniors, number 60, Aaron Regalia. Number 60, Aaron Regalia is back deep for the juniors. High kick taken by one of the short backs. And she is flagged down at the 38-yard line where the juniors will take over first and 10 inside a minute to go here in the third. Of course, as we mentioned earlier, this is just another part of all the festivities going on this homecoming week here in Lake Orion. Capped off tomorrow with the Lake Orion Dragons varsity playing the Clarkston Wolves. On the carry is number 60, Aaron Regalia on the carry. She's flagged down after about a yard gain. Oh, they're giving her more. Well, they have a personal foul after the play against the seniors. So that'll add 15 to the end of the run. And that will make it First and 10 
from the senior 35 yard line. And that's the end of the third. We played three. It's the seniors, 27. The juniors, nothing. I'm running out of things to read. No, we don't have a third quarter sponsor. That's been our bane all year. But we will give it to Jets Pizza. This quarter is underwritten by Jets Pizza. Jets Pizza with two convenient locations in the Orion area. Proud supporters of Orion Neighborhood Television since 2009. For information, visit JetsPizza.com. And we will also, but probably not because we're running out of time, so we'll just say it's first and ten for the juniors from the senior 45-yard line. They come out with their double-wide, double-slot look with the receivers. Quarterback up the middle. That was number 11, Matty Eckert. Number 11, Gary, Matty Eckert. And she got about three. It'll be second and seven. Single back behind Maddie. Hand off. Up the middle and flag down about the 32 yard line. That'll be a first down for the juniors. They're going to mark her down at the 33. as we're under 14 minutes to play. That'll be enough for a junior first down. Junior shift to trips right, single wide left, single back in the backfield. Coach Malkasian signaling the plays in. Around the left side. Inside, touchdown, juniors. Number 13, Alexandra Fouts. 33-yard run for a junior touchdown. It's all in that ability to turn the corner and turn the speed on. Right there, she cuts it inside, now breaks it outside. And just outruns everybody. For the touchdown. We have a conference going on over on the far sideline. I think the discussion may be about, I don't think she was flagged down. Touchdown. So it is a touchdown 
I think the discussion may have been, did she step out of bounds coming down the far sideline? So now we'll have a try for point from the juniors. Looks like the rain has eased up somewhat. So we will have a try for point. They're trying to get everybody that's supposed to be out there, out there. Aaron Regalia will a try, will attempt the point after. Number three, Alexandra Baldwin will hold. Kick is up, and the kick is good. 10.15 to go. It's now the seniors 27, the juniors 7. And if for any other reason than just a morale booster, that touchdown was huge for the juniors. And by the way, DVD copies can be purchased by calling Orion Neighborhood Television at 248-393-1060. For only $10, you can get a copy of not only this game here tonight, but any game or program in our broadcast vaults. DVD copies, 248-393-1060. And talking with our sideline cameraman, Joe Johnson, tonight, he said he did the re some research, as he is wont to do, and found out that powder puff football games are some of the most watched games on the Orion Neighborhood Television YouTube channel, which with competition like tonight, who can blame? Ah, okay. Ian Locke just said that the discussion was about when the touchdown was scored, were her flags tucked in? And it looked like on the replay, we saw them fluttering in the breeze. So high, short kick taken at the 30. Trying to reverse her field and does. It's going to be speed against speed. And she's flagged down. The worst thing you can do is reverse your field. Get what yardage you can. So regardless of the fact, the seniors will take over first and 10 at their own 32-yard line with 7.50 to go here in the fourth. Both teams have played a spirited game tonight. Seniors break the huddle. They come out single wide right, single wide left in a full house backfield. On the carry, trying to get outside and does. Number 116. 
Chloe Wiegers on the run. Since she was flagged down by number 49, Nazaria Lardell. Yep, Nazaria just came across and happened to grab the flag. So it's first and first and ten for the seniors. Handoff around this side, flag down, and still going. And we're going to have holding against the seniors. So that'll back them up. That'll be a spot foul. Sophie Stronic on the carry. But that backs the seniors up to the 30-yard line. So it is first and 22 for the seniors. And right now they're content to take all the time they can. Single wide right. Hand off. Coming around this side, stopped at about the 34. We'll see where they mark it. Emily Fisher on the stop, number 39 for the juniors. So it is now second and 17. Ball spotted on the 35 yard line. Two wides and a full house backfield. Handoff around the far side. Trying to get a seam. Still running. And brought down by the flag belt. 79, Audrey Llewellyn. Audrey Llewellyn on the run. Allie Jones had her and just held on to the flag belt. That's enough for a first down for the seniors. Watch. Now she cuts it across the field. Everybody's trying to get a hold of the belt. Finally, she gets a hold of the belt and just holds on. So first and 10, two wide outs. Inside handoff. Given to number 33. Number 33, Grace Sullivan on the Grace Sullivan. Finally have that. So it's a loss of two. It'll be second and 12. We're inside 2.30 to play in the game. Ball spotted on the junior's 45 yard line. Two wide outs, wing left. Rolling out, looking, throwing, going deep. 
overthrew Chloe Wiegers threw it good, attended for Lyric Williams, number 118. They're calling it Audrey Rischmeyer, okay? Number 119, they were right. They have a spotter, I don't. So third down and 12 from the 45. And we have a stoppage in play. So it is third and 12. Double reverse coming around this side, slips it. Slips a grab and finally flagged down. And they're marking her down for no gain. It's still third and 12. I think we have a flag on the field. Holding by the seniors declined. So now it'll be third and 12. The referee gave the signal to start the clock and the clock operator didn't start it. So now the seniors have taken a timeout with a minute 40 to go. Once again, this has been a very full week of homecoming activities. We had the parade downtown, the powder puff game tonight. Tomorrow will be the pep rally and crowning it all off will be the Lake Orion Dragons taking on the Clarkston Wolves right here tomorrow night at seven o'clock. So it is fourth and 12. The juniors are dropping everybody back. Anticipating a punt and they get one. Bouncing kick taken at the 20 or at the 18 coming around this side and out of bounds around, they're gonna mark her out at the 22 yard line, where it will be the juniors first and 10 with a minute 36 to go. Clock stopped on the change of possession. So the juniors come out. Seniors putting four up front, six in the second wave, and one defensive back back. Motion this side. Throw incomplete intended for number 31, Gabrielle Allen. Just overthrew her. She showed a pretty good arm. Just overthrew her. So it'll be second and 10. 
I don't know who took the time out, if anyone, but the clock stopped. Motion back the other way on the reverse. And she is flagged down around the 25 yard line. So we are going to be down to one minute to play. They're gonna give her a two yard loss. Ball will be marked on the 26. And this should be the last play of the game. Double wideouts, double slots. Pass intercepted by the seniors. And that's going to do it. Yeah, they stopped the clock, and I don't know why. It doesn't, in a running clock situation, it does not stop a change of possession. But they did, and now referee Burt Hershey winds to start it. So we're in the last 20 seconds, and the seniors don't even have to snap it, and they're not going to. The final 10 seconds count down and the 2022 Powder Puff game is in the books. The senior class of 2023 has beaten the junior class of 2024 by a score of 27 to seven. Four. Our producer director down in the truck, Ian Locke. Our sideline camera person, Joe Johnson, and our entire Orion Neighborhood Television and Lake Orion High School production crew, I'm Doug Corliss. Thank you for watching. Good night, everyone. <laughs>